I'm Jessica and my background is in animation and costume design. Uh, I'm originally from Ireland. I was, well, I did animation in college. I don't really have a usually technical background, but when being exposed to things, I've been able to pick up things. I also worked for a time in a maker space. I learned a lot of things about like 3D printing and laser cutting and, you know, Arduino and stuff. So I picked up enough to get myself in the door, I guess. My main role at Hanson Robotics is uh, basically animation, so I'm in charge of Sophia's kind of head calibration, so I make sure that she's able to express her thoughts and emotions kind of properly. <laughs> uh, I actually heard from a friend, they mentioned that they'd seen that Hanson were looking to hire an animator. Uh, I was kind of actually a little skeptical at first since I I have a very different background from what I would have assumed you'd need for a robotics com company. I'm like a lot more uh, on the creative side of things, so I, was, I didn't think I'd get the job, but I thought there's no harm trying because it sounds like an exciting place to work. Um, and came in, had the interview, and I guess I, I fit the team. <laughs> At the moment, I'm actually uh, tweaking uh, Sophia 18. She's our newest robot, so we're trying to get her up and running uh, on Monday, it's her first time out in the world properly. She's going to be doing a lot of shows. She won't be coming back for a while, so trying to get her to be as uh, reliable and as good looking as we can get her. So I'm working on that at the moment. Her initial animation, uh, it was kind of a, a little bit of a learning curve for me because uh, I wasn't able to use the regular, at least for the first half, I wasn't able to use the normal kind of animation programs like Maya or Blender or uh, 3ds Max. It was actually done through Python, so <laughs> there was like coding that I'd never done before, so I was kind of advising uh, the coders like how we should move each position, when we should move it, um, and then eventually we were able to get a model made up and rigged in Maya and could animate her in a more traditional sense, but it was a really interesting learning curve and kind of to see the way you can manipulate things in a, a very mechanical sense uh, before uh, to, to get what you want, I guess. <laughs> She'll do what she wants, unfortunately. <laughs>